Well, welcome to Sponsor Spotlight. My name is David James, and when it comes to real estate, we have had all kinds of things happen over the last, well, eight, nine years that scares all of us. I know as a homeowner, I get very concerned about you know what my house was worth uh, pre-2004 or 2008, and then what it's been worth post-2008. If I'm losing money, if I'm gaining money, if it's a great time to sell, if it's not a good time to sell, I know I hear as a lay, a lay person that home prices are rising. Yay! But I'm thinking if you're a fellow homeowner, we've got an opportunity for you to introduce a, a beautiful young lady to you by the name of Alicia Chen. Her business is Cornerstone Real Estate International. But what is really awesome about Alicia is she's got an incredible story to share about her whole narrative as to where her life has taken her from a financial planner, a registered nurse, being totally engaged into the real estate market and one-stop shopping. If you're looking for a home, if you're looking to sell your home, if you're looking to finance, if you're looking to show your home, all of it can happen with Cornerstone Real Estate International. And uh, Alicia, thank you for being part of our sponsor spotlight here. Thank you for having me here. I uh, am, it was intrigued by reading your, your bio here. Uh, your passion is real estate. Yes, that's a great passion of mine. Tell us about where all of that came to be for you. Were, were you six or seven and said, Mom, I want to <laughs> be a real estate agent? No, that was hardly the case. <laughs> well, actually, um, coming from you know uh, Taiwan when I was eight years old, uh, not knowing ABCs, I started learning here. And, um, you know, we came from a, a lesser fortunate family as far as financially. And so because of that, it, it's always a dream for me to own a home. And so it seems like it's just uh, a dream. It doesn't seem like it's going to be achievable when we first got here. And uh, all my parents do is just work extremely hard. They were, you know, just making, you know, ants meet. There was just no savings whatsoever. And uh, so, you know, on the weekends as a little girl about 12 years old, I actually, instead of playing with dolls, I would love to go and see homes. And that was just kind of like a dream. Like if I imagine myself in this house, how would that feel? It was just my hobby. And uh, so when I was talking to my parents, graduated you know, from high school and trying to go into a college and determine you know, what should I be doing, um, so I told my mom I have a very you know, uh, good artistic side of me. And I said, Mom, I want to go into you know, interior design. I'm really good in that. I, got, I won numerous rewards without going to courses and classes on, on arts. And um, so she said, no, there's no way you're going to make money on, you know, going into art and uh, interior design. So I said, okay, well, what about teacher? Teaching, I love teaching. And then she said, no, because you don't make much money that either. So I said, okay, well, okay, what about nurse? And she said, okay, that's a good one. There's always going to be jobs and, uh, you know, you can, you can make a lot more stable money. So I went into nursing and I love helping people. So I did that, and um, so um, I had to be working full time to uh, put myself through college and expenses and all that because my family didn't really have the finances to do so. Um, while doing that, and I gradually, finally, you know, having to be the top A person of a class to graduate from Cal State Long Beach, and that was one of the best nursing schools. And um, so I really still have that passion for home, and I knew there's no way I can get a home freshly out of college. So while working, you know, full time, I said, okay, you know what, why don't I just take a part time job? That way I can save more faster and maybe I can get to a home faster. And I ran into um, a real estate company. They asked me to do um, assistant job and work and I didn't think anything of it that I was going to go into it. But somehow the owner of the company saw something in me that I just never see in myself. And he encouraged me to get the license and I did. Um, and he started telling me to take care of clients, which I did. And I was the worst real estate agent ever. For six months, I could not close any transaction because I don't push people. I'm not, that's not my personality. And they hire, you know, I'm just one of the agents they hire. Everybody else closed several. And I was the only one that I didn't close any. Oh. Yeah, and you know, and that was kind of like a self-esteem, you know, yeah, uh, right. shot, right? Although he's encouraging me and stuff, but to me, to myself, it's like, I'm a failure in this. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, and I said, you know, so finally I got enough courage and I told the um, owner, I said, you know what, you're wasting money on me. So I'm, I think I want to quit, you know. He said, no, no, Alicia, just keep going what you're doing and it will somehow come through. It's so funny he told me that because about a month later, I closed 31 transactions in one month. How about that? 
I don't know how it happened, um, but all the clients called me back, all the ones I've been talking to for the last half a year that I've never closed one. All of them all send us call me back at the same time, and for one month, one single month, I closed 31 transactions. The floodgates started opening from zero to 31 in one month. Yeah. And after then, you were about ready to call it quits. <laughs> exactly. And then from then on, I was a top producer every single month. And my highest closing was 101 transaction in one month. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 and this is how many years ago? This is a 2000, um, I believe 2004, that I got to 101 transaction per month. How about that? <laughs> and so, first off, props to your mentor there at that real estate for who didn't give up on you. Uh huh. Who said, you know the what? Owner, yes. I see something in Alicia here. Uh huh. You know, and here you are. So you're working, you're closing these deals. You're not high pressure. By the way, it's it's sponsor spotlight. I'm David James. We're talking with Alicia Chen, owner. Of okay, Cornerstone yes. Real Estate International. So now, where did you progress from that point into uh, deciding that it was time for you to own your own business, your own real estate company in Cornerstone Real Estate International? Okay. So what happened was um, I was doing really well, um, but I started really loving real estate. I didn't know I was a people person at all. I was so shy before. I was even so shy to even go to McDonald's and ask for a ketchup. So going from that personality to who I am today, there was a lot of things that you know God has um, put in my life, challenged me with, and um, to kind of mold me into the person that you know He wants to mold me into. So I went into a traditional, more traditional real estate, meaning that you have more broader field of real estate. You can do residentials, commercials, and leasing, rentals, and all that. So I kind of want to do a little bit more than just a portion, a little portion of real estate. About 2006, 2007 ish. Um, people start being laid off because of the economy. And about 2008, I start hearing a lot of clients come to me and say, you know, Alicia, can you help my, my friend? They got laid off and uh, they're in the 40s and there's no way they can go back to a four-year college and learn something else. They need food on the table. And I see that you're doing so well, even despite the you know, crash in the economy, you're still doing very well. So can you help them? And so I took them on, and I kind of uh, started out as uh, taking on all the layoff people. And um, so I started training them how to do real estate. And uh, majority of people who did exactly what I asked them to do, meaning that you work 14 hours a day, and uh, you just don't ask, you just keep going and not even calculating, should I do this, should I do that, you're just doing it. Right. Um, those people today, three years ago, when they first started with me, are making six digits today. How about that? And not only that, that's that's not even the best part. They're actually making a positive impact into these people's lives. We have so many short sales that we've done, and we actually pray for our clients, and we brought them to church. If we never encountered the short sale, these people are probably well to do, and and they probably won't even want to think about attending church and not even you know asking us to pray for them. And so we have taken so many clients from not knowing Christ into church settings, and now you know they're also accepted Christ, and they are also happier, and they know how to. Ba- uh, manage their their finances even better. You know, that's something else. We're talking with Alicia Chen, Ch- Cornerstone Real Estate International. I, I hear your heart. Um, it's really, yes, it's about obviously your passion for making sure homes or uh, people are taken care of uh, with their homes, but you are really passionate about making a difference in people's lives when it comes to the short sale. T- t- tell us and lead us down the direction of, uh, there are billions of real estate agents. Mm-hmm. I mean, thousands of them across Southern California and around the country. You specialize in a multifaceted approach to everything from selling a home, listing a home, uh, showing the home to make it look the wow factor, to actually finding homes for someone, and even your own in-house financial Mm -hmm. uh, company. So why is it we should call Alicia and your Cornerstone Real Estate International rather than anyone else? Well, first of all, um, the reason that we have so many different departments and almost like one-stop shop for real estate services is because our clients came to us and say, Alicia, you know, we really love working with you and we can trust you. And so, you know, if you would just do this, you know, if you would help on managing properties for us, if you would only just open a, you know, loan office company, if you only do this and that, and I was like, hold on a second, <laughs> I'm one person here, you know. But uh, what I started out was my foundation was really good. 
I really took on. I know the in and outs of buying and selling process. Then I took on the next investment process because you know you have to know the numbers. To doctors, lawyers, they are the biggest investors of mine. All they care about is what the numbers look like. Right, so you have to very be very good in looking at the property, knowing how much it will cost, and that、uh, opens up another fact is that I had a you know contractor license in back of me, so I can go into a home and visually see approximately how much of work it will take, and then how much money to to be buying it, how much rental we're going to get. So is that number going to make sense? So then I started the investment、um, department of it. Now once you have investment, they say, well, I can't take care of my property by myself. You have to manage it for me. Then I have to open a property management department, and then after that, you know, then we encounter the really difficult、um, market, which a lot of people were、um, had to short sell their home. So I opened that department、um, in addition to it to help people negotiate with the banks. Is like there was just so many other deals that pe- the agents don't know how to negotiate with the bank and present a fact that they rejected the short sale. So I feel really,、um, you know. Sad for these homeowners. They're trying to get on with their lives, and they're trying to, you know, have the bank approve. And they, there was just lack of、uh, communication、um, to get that done. So because of that, I opened the、um, uh, department as a short sale department. And so far, with God's blessing, so far it's been a hundred percent success rate. How about、still. that? Helping thousands of, of homeowners. I don't think it's a thousands yet, but it's、uh, certainly a few hundred. <laughs> how about that?、Uh, and, and so, and it's crucial to know how all of that works from the short sale、yes. aspect, from the numbers, and how to present that、mm-hmm. to the banks and all of it. Right. And so you are,、uh, you're, and I can tell you're asking God to bless what it is that you're doing and your whole staff, and and they are. Her name is Alicia Chen, Cornerstone Real Estate International. If you're looking to sell your home, buy your home, finance a home. One stop shop. You hear her heart. Cornerstone Real Estate International. Visit her website, AliciaChenHomes dot com. Triple eight 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 zero eighty eight twenty three. Triple eight 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 zero eighty eight twenty three. This is sponsor spotlight. So tell us about the economy right now. Then is it a a great time to sell? Is it a good time to kind of just hold on? What What are your thoughts about the market and where we are now, and how Cornerstone Real Estate International can super serve us as homeowners? Okay, sure. And I'm not going to give you the typical answer because、um, everybody has different situations. So let me kind of give you an example. Let's say、um, you know I have clients that、um, baby boomers and they have several properties, and they never really thought about well, I really don't need to sell right now because my financial is good. And stuff like that, but what they did not un- they did not think of is when you sell and you have a income、um, from that proceed. And if you sell multiple properties, and let's say that your proceed gets to over a million, you have to be taxed on that million dollar, just like if you were working. And so it has to be strategically planned, even in selling or buying homes. So, for example, you know, my client came to me and said, "Hey, Alicia, I'm thinking about selling three of my homes." I said, "Do you really need to do that this year?" And she said, "No, but I just thought, you know, I should just start getting rid of them." I said, "Well, let me sit down with you. Let me tell you why you should not be doing all three at the same time." So I analyze how much they bought and how much. The value is today, and how much deduction they can get because of a you know owner occupy standpoint. Now, because they're husband and wife, each person can have up to two hundred fifty thousand dollar tax free for owner occupy residence if you sell. So this property they they purchased years back now is worth more than a million dollar when they first bought it was two hundred thousand. So with two people getting the tax write off of five hundred thousand. Plus, you know, two hundred thousand or so, you're talking about only seven hundred thousand, right? Right. So you have to be taxed on the remainder difference of about three to four hundred thousand dollars. So I say, you know, you, let's do one at a time, you know, and、uh, so next year we're going to have to do the other one. What would have happened if you had not given them that、um, that advice and they went and sold those three properties? They would probably have to be paying taxes about thirty to forty percent of the amount. The money they earned. So you saved them thirty to forty percent of the money they earned in taxes、yes. by saying, "Look, hold off. You don't need to do this.、Mm-hmm. Uh, let me crunch the numbers again. It's all about those numbers."、Mm-hmm. And because of your awareness of that and your knowledge base of that, you save them that much money. Yeah, and they said, Alicia, I can't believe you're a real estate agent telling us not to sell when you can make money right now. And I said, you know what? It's all about what I do, what I know. I came from a position that I didn't have anything. 
I want to make sure that every single thing I know how to take advantage of, you know, in the correct way, I am doing that. Right. So that's the reason why I, I want to know the knowledge and back of everything. And that's why I'm very holistic real estate company. And that's why you say you have so many referrals. Yes. <laughs> because people recognize that you're saving them this money and they it's one stop for you. Yes. If you're selling a home, if you're looking for a home, if you need a, a finance for a home, if you need to show your home, let's talk a little bit about that. We're talking to Alicia Chen, Cornerstone Real Estate International. That wow factor in selling a home is paramount, is crucial. And a lot of real estate uh, professionals, quote unquote, don't really understand that. You are just as passionate about making sure the home looks fabulous from the outside, inside, and then the backyard, outside, that whole wow factor, because that plays a significant role in being able to sell a home, right? Right, definitely. Talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, because the interest rate is still very low, and I know that the interest rate has been creeping up, and people are kind of getting you know, a little excited over that. It's just kind of like the gas, you know, we, we have like about increase of 15 cents, everybody's getting panicking, right? But if you look at the um, entire history, you know, right now, um, uh, we are actually get, getting into inflation. So the material cost is com- going up. The labor cost is going up. So a lot of times when you look at it, to rebuild a house nowadays, it's going to cost a lot more today to build it than you are purchasing it in the dollar to dollar amount. Okay. So when that happens, staging is very important. When you're staging a property, people can actually afford giving you more money because it's a lower interest rate. We're not talking about six, seven percent. When I first bought my home, it was six, seven percent. You know, and uh, and I was very happy back then. You know, imagine right now we're like about still about four percent, right? And at four percent, people can afford giving more money because the monthly is still very um, affordable. And versus you know renting and buying, right now you are still in the better off on buying than renting. Mm-hmm. So when you start staging homes, people can see themselves in there, and they don't have to fix too much. Then they would actually be able to afford a higher amount and offer a higher amount. So it's very very crucial nowadays. Versus when you know we had interest rate that's higher, seven percent or so, we may not be focusing on that. So every market is so different. Give a little a snapshot of what that staging a home looks like. What do you mean by that because it's fascinating to me (laughs) okay um we have so many different levels of staging well first of all um for smaller home and my definition of a smaller home in uh, southern california here basically is anything that's less than 2,000 square feet is considered a smaller home what you can't really be putting big furnitures in there because it's going to look very crowded so what we need a lot of times are smaller items decorative items that would bring out the furniture a lot of times it's just very plain and there's no flower and there's no picture there is no lighting so a lot of times we help our clients stage the home so it's more compatible to a model home and uh, for homes that are bigger um, property like 4,000 square feet and up we would actually start looking into staging having the furniture company actually come in and stage your home put in the right furniture, the right coloring stuff like that and all of this pays off at the end because someone comes in and says I can picture myself being in this home exactly ready and willing to spend the money to get into that home exactly we're talking to Alicia Chen Cornerstone Real Estate International if you are looking uh, to purchase a home buy a home if you're and the thing about it is if you are selling a home this whole staging aspect and making your home so presentable that somebody does not want to say no so that your home sells quickly that's what alicia chen your specialty in that you've got all kinds of specialties i mean you even have your own (laughs) in-home finance all of that stuff but the real specific you know, that you put into it, you and your people here, it makes all the difference with you and Cornerstone, doesn't it? Yes, thank you. Yeah, and we're very happy to be able to do that. And we're just treating everybody's transaction like our own. Tell me about this. We're talking the numbers. It's really important, the licensing and all of this stuff. As a layperson, when I see all these letters after someone's uh, real estate you know, name and all of this, and I see all these letters of licenses, in, in layman's term, how important is it for that licensing to be there? And what licensing should we be looking for, say, in Cornerstone and that you have? Okay. Well, I have uh, more than 15 licenses and certificates, and actually more than that. But I only pick the top 15 that I feel is the best ones. And you that- hear that? 15 licenses. 
Yeah, and you know, when I'm、um, dealing with other agents, same thing. I'm looking for that. The reason is because you know this is not a easy market. You know, it's not a market that、uh, you just put somebody in a home and everything's going to be fine. We have title issue, we have appraisal issues, we have inspection issues. You know, there's so many issues involved that if you don't know how to solve these problems, you can't close. And so, because of that, it's really crucial to have the knowledge behind it. Now, on the average of my、um, licenses, I would say it takes about it costs me about a thousand dollar on each licenses because each one has a cost on attending the course. I sometimes have to fly out to certain states and to go to those courses, and of course, the hotel fees and you know the food costs and all that. I would say average of、uh, my licenses, it'll cost me about a thousand. Right, and you have fifteen of them, so you've spent fifteen thousand and more. On on keeping those licenses up and doing. Are you、uh, specializing in real estate not only here in the Southland but all across the country? If someone is looking to sell a home somewhere else or sell a home here and relocate elsewhere,、mm-hmm. you can still. It's one stop. For for them with Cornerstone Real Estate International, right? Yes, definitely. I mean, right now, currently, we have one in New York that we're getting to ready to close, and we have one also in Arkansas. You know, so we have all over the place that we can help people, and especially when they're relocating, there's a lot of things that they don't really know in from state to state, and that's why we're also specializing in helping them to make that transition easier, letting them know what's what's you know different between the states and what the market is like, what the community is like. So yeah, we're very specialized in that. Also, we're talking to Alicia Chen, Cornerstone Real Estate.、Uh, as we wrap up sponsor spotlight here,、um, staging your home crucial. If you're looking to buy a home, if you're looking to finance a home, if you're looking to sell a home, all of it. You can help people at Cornerstone Real Estate, Alicia, and your heart and passion for people. And、Thank、so,、you. what would you say to someone then who's listening right now, who says, "Wow, this really sounds like something." Alicia sounds like somebody that I need to get in contact with. Would they call you at triple eight 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 zero eighty eight twenty three? Is that your number? And and just share a little bit about you know how people can get in touch with you and what's going to happen in that process. Okay, sure.、Um, if you have any real estate needs, I mean any, you'll be very surprised on some things that you probably didn't even think of. And after we Talk, then we figure out that there are actually things that you can really benefit. So yes, you can call me at eight 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 zero eight eight twenty three, or you can email me at Alicia. That's spelled A L I S H A dot Chen C H E N at C S. Hyphen rei dot com, and they can also visit my website, which is www dot alicia chan homes dot com. All right, it's Alicia Chan, Cornerstone Real Estate、uh, broker, licensed real estate, graduated real estate institute, certified ABR certified. What does that mean? That's accredited buyer's representative. BPO certified. Yes, that's really important because you have to know what the value home value is. So that's a kind of appraisal、uh, broker side of appraisal value. Certified short sale agent. We know what that is. Certified foreclosure agent. Certified distressed property agent. Short sale and foreclosure resource. Certified new home consultant. Certified HAFA agent as a HAFA agent. Yes, that's HAFA agent. And what's that stand for? Well, HAFA is a specialized program for people who are going to go into short sale and need a short sale, but they may qualify under owner occupied. Um, government program that is even better. That means that the government may give them few thousand dollars to relocate. Hey, certified titanium home retention consultant and 2013 president of Asian Real Estate Association of America, Orange County. There's no reason why if someone has a has a question about real estate, they should reach out to you, Alicia, at Cornerstone Real Estate International. Yes, I'm really looking forward. Give the number once again. It's triple eight. What'd you say the number was? Triple eight 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 zero eighty eight twenty three. Yes. Triple eight 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 zero eighty eight twenty three. Website is www dot alicia chen homes dot com. Ninety seconds. Wrap it up here. Share your heart and w- encourage people to reach out to you when it comes to the real estate and staging your home and the importance of that. <laughs> well, I just really want to say that you know God has given me this、uh, knowledge and the opportunity to be in real estate that I've never thought I would be in. And、uh, I'm hoping that I can use my knowledge, and we also pray for our clients. That's one major difference. And we have so many miracles in our office. Every Thursday morning, we have prayer meetings. It's very.
very different when you work with us, and I'm just hoping that uh, I can use my knowledge to help all of you. Well, not only the knowledge, but the prayer and the faith aspect of it. I encourage everyone, uh, all of us, uh, when it comes to real estate, whether you're brand new to the home market, looking for a home, looking to sell one or two or three homes. You heard the story Alicia shared where one of the clients that she uh, reached out to her said, I just want to sell three homes. And she reeled them back in and said, you know what? Saved them 30, 40% in taxes because they didn't sell all three of those homes. And she didn't make that money. And they were shocked. Like, really? You don't want to sell? I want to save you money. And in the long run, having Alicia on our side when it comes to real estate over the years and establishing that relationship is crucial to our real estate success and to our family. So, and you hear our heart and passion for faith. It's 888-880-8823, 888-880-8823, Cornerstone Real Estate International. Alicia, thanks you for being our guest on Sponsor Spotlight. Thank you.